Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video. My name is Chief Pat, and today we're gonna be hopping into the next episode of our Let's Play Clash Royale series, where I have finally switched up my deck after asking you guys multiple times about what type of cards I should put inside of it. And I got a lot of answers inside of the last comment section, and the main two cards that I was seeing was the uh, Barbarian Hunt, as well as the Hog Rider. A lot of people wanted me to try Hog Freeze. I actually don't have the free spell yet, so I can't do that. So I threw both of those cards inside of my deck, and I also substituted in the barbarians as well as the bomber to make my deck a little bit better balanced let's go ahead and try it out inside of a couple of battles starting off against shark who is a level seven and seeing as he started with that elixir pump i'm actually just going to drop my hut in the very center and uh, wait for it to go crazy on his side of the base now of course he drops some spear goblins didn't really do too much for us as our barbarians pop back out those spear goblins should die and uh yeah this should be pretty solid i actually don't really recommend playing spawner decks against higher levels a lot of the time because you can get sort of overrun uh but taking a look at where we're at right now musketeer should assassinate that wizard right there and seeing as our musketeer is out of range of that elixir collector we can go on a crazy push the musketeer is going to be protected now that the hog rider is going down the lane as well and uh, we're going to take a ton of damage to this tower if not the entire tower and uh, now we're just going to have to deal with that insane pekka i haven't faced to P.E.K.K.A. yet on this account, and seeing as my Barbarians are only level 5, they're actually going to get one shot by the P.E.K.K.A., which is super unfortunate. If we upgraded our Barbarians just one more time, they would have been able to take two shots from the P.E.K.K.A., which would have completely changed that trade right there, but just one of those things not having the card levels, and as our Valkyrie kills all of those Barbarians, sort of just going to sit back on defense with our Knight, and hopefully the Knight can take out the P.E.K.K.A. and reset where we are inside of the battle. Okay, so the knight got two shot just like the barbarians, but still his life did not go in vain. He ended up taking out the P.E.K.K.A. as well. And uh, seeing as the minions are going down by themselves, can just drop a musketeer to take those out as well as the wizard. And uh, if you do a little bit of math right there, the musketeer cost four and his push cost eight for five for the elixir, three for the minions. So that was definitely an extremely profitable trade for us. And uh, I imagine our elixir is about even. And now our musketeer is actually assassinating that elixir collector right there. So he wasted a lot of elixir. And uh, I definitely have to say that the elixir is in our favor. Okay, so bomber should kill the spear goblins. Looks like we got a couple of barbarians running down the lane. He drops yet another P.E.K.K.A. right here which is going to be pretty insane to deal with. So our Barbarians will start smacking away. Our tower is going to help out as well. Uh, I dropped my Knight to try to distract the minions while the tower took those out. And fortunately, his minions are only level 5, so they don't end up uh, taking 3 shots from the tower. They only take 2 shots. And he drops a Rage Spell in with the Barbarians, but still not going to be able to deal with both of our counters in the Mus or in the Valkyrie and the Bomber. And uh, at this point, this game is pretty much over. I can just drop another Barbarian Hut on the left-hand side. It's going to start cranking out Barbarians like crazy. He drops another P.E.K.K.A. on the right, which of course we can just counter with our Barbarians yet again. And uh, waiting for that P.E.K.K.A. to make its way down the lane. Notice how I don't drop the Knight right on top of it. I actually drop it behind so it can kill the Wizard, or at least attempt to kill the Wizard before doing anything else. Valkyrie will help out and finish the deal, and that will be the game for a clean victory where he didn't even touch our towers throughout the entire game. So, pretty good job with this deck. I have to say, I'm pretty happy. I don't feel like it's the best deck. I definitely think my other deck is probably better, but this is fun. It's always good to switch it up, and something really important that I always tell people is to experiment with different decks, because once you play with a different type of deck, you can actually see the strengths and weaknesses of that deck, and if you face it yourself, it makes you better equipped to go against it. So, a lot of the times, if someone beats me with the same strategy, I'll try to play it myself, and then when I play it, I can see what it loses to, and then I can end up trying to mirror those ways whenever I play against it again. So, don't be afraid to try out different decks. Uh, it ends up working pretty well usually and let's go ahead and start another battle against Mitchell He is another level 7 inside of Builder's Workshop Barbarians are gonna go down. He plays an Inferno Tower, which honestly is not a great card That actually gives me plenty of time to just save up some Barbarians in the back and go for an insane push And uh, that's what I was thinking about doing. I ended up dropping the Musketeer instead Which should do a pretty fine job right there So they're gonna start shooting away Inferno Tower is gonna target on that Barbarian and see because my Musketeer is so weak It's actually only gonna get a couple of shots off on the tower, but still Still not too shabby. Let's drop a bomber to follow up those barbarians until he comes in with the balloon, which is going to go absolutely insane against our tower. I don't have any range stuff right now because my musketeer is still on cooldown, but still we were able to fireball that to start uh, taking it out. And uh, we actually took a pretty good trade because now we have a full health Valkyrie in the left lane. We have the barbarians running down the right hand lane and the barbarians definitely do some serious damage if they're left by themselves. 
and uh yeah okay so here's a quick tip notice how the giant skeleton goes down i don't drop my barbarians in front of the giant skeleton i drop them right behind them now watch the barbarians run away so that's what you can do to save your barbarians or any troop that you drop to kill a giant skeleton make sure you drop it so the giant skeleton is sort of facing you and your troop is facing like their towers uh, because that's what I did. It kept all of our barbarians alive. He had to waste a zap spell um, on taking those out, among other things. So just a quick tip for you guys when facing the giant skeletons inside of battle. So right now his tower is at 549 and we're looking pretty good. I can't get my hog rider to the tower just yet because he has that inferno tower down. So I'm just going to slow push again every second that I don't have to deal with that inferno tower. It gets a little bit weaker. It loses a little bit more HP. So that's why I'm playing the bomber in the back. Barbarians will slowly melt down, but really not too much of a deal. And here goes the giant skeleton. So once again, we're going to have to try to play some defense, but he's going crazy. He drops the wizard. He drops absolutely everything. I drop another fireball to try to take out that balloon. But again, it's still going to get hit off on the tower. And uh, it's extremely annoying to deal with. I actually drop a hog rider to try to go for that tower, but I dropped it about a second too early. So it didn't take it out. It did clean up that elixir collector, which was really just a consolation prize. And at this point, we desperately need to get to that tower. We end up having our bomber target the inferno tower as well but the next time that our hog riders up i feel like that's going to be the best play and notice where i change the positioning of this barbarian hut i know that the balloon is going to be coming down the left hand lane so i drop my barbarian hut to counter that just in case he drops that balloon i can use my musketeer uh, to shoot it down while the balloon attacks the tower fireball is going to get a lot of value off right there and take a look at this hog rider as soon as the wizard goes down the hog riders in the other lane he has absolutely nothing that can counter it he drops an elixir collector to try to distract it that's not going to work out too well and that was a quick and surprising end to the game he overcommitted to the left hand side cheeky hog rider on the right hand side and we get our first giant chest on this account which is going to be amazing i haven't gotten i think i've gotten like one magical chest and one giant chest on this account so this is going to be perfect can't wait to open that up which i will do inside of the next video i'll make sure i open it when i'm recording uh, but anyways let's get into one more battle using this deck against uh, Geo Hagen. I don't even know how to pronounce that. It sort of looked like George for a second, but let's start it off. Knight in the very back, slow moving troop. He drops an elixir collector that's only level one. So maybe I could have fireballed the elixir collector just because it's so weak, but still, I'm going to start with our barbarian hut on the right hand side and he drops a bomb tower. Now the bomb tower is the tankiest defense inside of the entire game. It's going to be super annoying for us to deal with. I actually have no idea how we're going to do it. We're going to have to probably play our Valkyrie uh, to take out these barbarians because our two barbarians can't do it by themselves. And yeah, this one, right when I saw that, I sort of thought that we were going to go for a tie. He ended up freezing our Valkyrie right there. Not the smartest idea. I'm just going to fireball the goblin barrel to make sure we don't take any damage. But uh, yeah, that bomb tower is going to be such a pain to deal with. And uh, I'm not exactly sure how we're going to take it out. We're going to have to use our hog rider. We're going to have to use our musketeer. But our barbarian hut is 100% countered. And uh, yeah, that's not very good for us going into the rest of this battle. Another set of elixir collectors right there. So he's got two on the very top. And this is going to be so tough to deal with. He's just going to get a massive elixir advantage because of those elixir pumps and the bomb towers defending it that I don't really know what to do. And as soon as I drop my musketeer, of course, he drops his minion horde. So instead of panicking, I'm going to drop my Valkyrie, which will distract the minions for a little while. And now I'll drop my hog rider as well as the knight on the right hand lane to see how much damage we can get done to that tower. He'll drop a free spell, which is actually pretty good. It only makes it so our hog rider gets a single hit on the tower. Uh, our bomber's gonna help out, take out those barbarians, but yet again, another bomb tower in the very center to really just make us happy about this battle and uh, facing someone who's a higher level than us. Facing a higher level bomb tower is probably one of the most obnoxious things at a lower level. It seems like it's pretty impossible to crack. So what I'm looking for, since I don't think it's gonna be very, uh, I guess, possible to crack this tower normally, I'm looking to try to maybe make a push um, to see when he makes a mistake because you can definitely capitalize on people's mistakes just like in that last battle where I ended up going for him as soon as he dropped that wizard on the left hand side I know that this guy will make a mistake pretty much every player is going to make at least a few mistakes inside of every single battle uh, so you just have to capitalize on those when they arise he's going to go with that hog rider down the left that's going to be quickly taken out by our barbarians actually not even get any damage on that tower and here's a good time to use our hog rider our hog rider will take out that bomb tower and so now that that's down, we've got some barbarians on the left. He'll probably just drop another bomb tower, I'm guessing. But we're going with an insane push, and uh, he might not be able to stop this. We've got so many things going down the lane. We've got our fireball. That's going to work out pretty well. D double musketeer to take out those minions. 
and one more hog rider to go down the left hand lane with the musketeers going crazy they're going to be frozen right now but the hog should be enough to take it out as he plays the defensive hog that's not going to work out too well and that's going to give us again another come from behind victory another sort of cheeky play of our hog rider and uh, one to zero 29 trophies and that will wrap it up for the battles for today so taking a look at where we are we're at 1859 as a beginner level six so really not too shabby at all we're only two crowns away from our crown chest so i'll probably try to do that off camera and to see what we get inside of that but yeah we finally have a giant chest to try to open and see what type of cards that gives us if it gives us barbarians or valkyrie or something like that that would be amazing uh, but i'm looking forward to what's inside of that and that is going to do it for this video so again you guys are definitely going to be influencing the episodes just like the, this one i like to look at the comments to see what you guys uh, want me to play and there was a lot of really good comments in the last video saying that i should try different decks in every single episode i think every episode might be a bit of a stretch because i have to get used to a couple of decks and show you guys the best way to play them uh, but i will definitely keep you guys in mind when i'm choosing these decks so make sure you let me know with a comment in the comment section below what you guys want to see that's going to do it for this video until next time i will see you guys later peace